guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, thanks for joining me today. I am on my journey of 52 weeks to 52, and this is my first week. So I wanted to talk about just a little bit of what I'm gonna be trying to do, accomplish, or make happen during these 52 weeks. I think for me in my life, there are four different sections of my life that I'm trying to do something with. I'm an entrepreneur. I've accomplished that. I'm still working on that. Um, there are things that I want to do, be, and have by my next birthday. So I have to be intentional. And one of them that I know is a relationship. I have to, like, as an entrepreneur, I've allowed myself to just, I don't have children and I'm not married. So I just work, 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 work. And my balance is like this. So I have to be committed to meeting someone and being you know, building a great relationship. I, I want some sort of family, whether it's me, my guy, and a dog or something, but I, I want some sort of, um, you know, my own little internal family. So I realize I have, that's not just going to happen. I pray on it, but I have to be intentional. So I've got to start dating or swiping or okay cupiding or something else, but I've got to be intentional or going out more and being intentional when I go out or going on dates. So I plan to, if I have these things, I'm going to show them to you as I go along um, in this 52 weeks. Also, my money. As an entrepreneur, i got to get my money right. I'm, gonna be, I'm 52. I'm going to be do heading towards retirement age. I have to make sure that my money is right. And I have a lot of money issues in here that could stop me from getting to where I need to be with my money. So, And my health. I, you know, I have MS. They say I have MS. So I'm not going to claim it, but I, I know I sort of do. Um, and I know I need to get back to where I was being the healthiest me because that's when I felt my best. But I fell off a little and now I'm trying to climb my way back on. So every week I'm just going to see what I did in what areas. Some areas, some weeks, I may not have done too much. But hopefully I will have gotten some sort of jump towards my future. So let's start with this week, personal development. <laughs> All right, this week, personal development. Um, I am an entrepreneur, and I believe as an entrepreneur, you got to have, you know, many different um, legs of revenue streams. So, you know, I wrote a book. I'm an author. Um, I teach classes and things like that. But one of the things I love to do is speaking. Um, so this weekend, I spoke at a women's empowerment event. And when I was up there, I realized something, I don't want to say it's phenomenal, but I enjoy speaking. A lot of people don't like speaking in front of crowds and stuff. As you see, I'm chatty, and I like to talk. And it was really a light bulb because when I get speaking engagements, I'm more like, you know, I get them, I do them, and I'm done. But I really have to pour more into this craft of speaking because I enjoy speaking and I think I'm kind of good at it. Not being arrogant. But I got to learn to pat myself on the back. And, you know, I think I'm, I'm pretty good at speaking. So that's something. I mean, the event was great, but I just felt a sense of ease when I was talking. And I saw that people were receiving what I was saying. So I was like, you know what, this is an important part of learning your purpose is, I don't know, getting feedback from other people. And they seemed to be, they were helped. They enjoyed what I was speaking about and I enjoyed it. And I think part of your purpose, I think you'll enjoy it. I think it'll sort of evolve and that's what's happening. Um, I have another speaking engagement coming up this week, but I think this was like a little mini aha this week that when I was on the panel, I was like, I'm actually having fun. So that was pretty good. So now I'm going to be way more intentional about um, getting some more speaking gigs and gigs that actually um, where I can inspire people or just share my story. So I feel this week for personal development, I sort of got a, gave myself a little check because I think I realized something that I really like to do. So I'm happy with that. All right. Of relationships. Love and relationships this week may have been an epic fail. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I didn't go on Tinder. I didn't go on Bumble. I didn't go on Hinge. I didn't go on OkCupid. And I just sometimes feel like I, I just go out so much for business that I when I don't have to do things like that, or if I don't have a puka event or I'm not speaking, I just want to be home on my couch. So maybe my guy's going to be a couch repairman. I've said that before um, because I don't know how else I'm going to meet him. But I have to be intentional on these 52, 53, 52 weeks. So I did go out to a party this week, <clears throat> so that was fun, um, a birthday party for a friend. I made sure I did my hair and, 
you know, I got outside and I went with the intention of, hey, you never know, there might be somebody there. Um, I danced, I had a good time, I had a couple of cocktails and I didn't meet anybody. But that's not a fail. <laughs> I just didn't meet anybody. But but the difference this time was I didn't go out with the intention like, oh, I better meet somebody tonight. And I didn't come home disappointed. I wasn't even thinking about it. I went out to celebrate my friend, have a good time. And when I came home with no numbers or no nothing, <laughs> I was okay with it because I had a good time. So I don't really think I developed too much in the love um, sphere this week. But I'm going to do better this week. I'm going to go sit at Starbucks and see who I see. Or people like go shopping you know, where guys shop, oh, it's so much work. But I'm gonna be more intentional about actually doing the work this week. And I'm gonna go someplace and get a book or buy a coffee or something, or go to dinner by myself, sit at a bar and have dinner at a bar. It's this really cute Italian restaurant and they have a bar and people eat dinner at the bar. I think I might go there and eat dinner by myself at the bar and see who I meet. So love this week, eh, it was okay. But I did have a good time with my girls. Um, finance. Money. This week, um, I really learned myself, and I, this isn't really a learning thing. I knew this about myself. I have a really bad paradigm with money of ignore it and just it'll go away if there's a problem. That's horrible. And I carry that into a lot of things in my life. And I've known that I was like this, but this week I was really focused on it because I'm going to be honest with you. It was like my taxes, my sales and usage taxes, and I just didn't. And I was just like, uh, ignore it. And I just made it so much worse. And, and I know people are like, well, then stop doing that. Don't change it. Or, but it's a paradigm. It's something that's so deep within me that always, like, when something is wrong, such about money, I'm like, oh, I just ignore it and I don't want to see it. So I am facing that this week. Um, I am going to push through and not procrastinate and make sure that I look at things and do things that make me uncomfortable. Um, I've been reading a lot of Bob Proctor stuff. And he talks about paradigms and how to bust paradigms. So I'm saying my affirmations that I'm great with money, that money flows to me in infinite quantities through multiple sources on a continual basis. I pray and I ask God for guidance on me and dealing with money because I get money, but then I just, I'm not good at money management. So what I did realize is, um, I forget the name of the app. I'm going to put it in the bottom, but I did find a great app for cash flow, which is going to help me in Puka and in my personal business. And I also need to start saving more for retirement. You know, I, I put my money in savings accounts and I have whatever my social security and like for my old jobs, but I need to be saving more in retirement so that I am not eating cat food when I am close to retirement. So those are things that money, I don't know if I made big strides, but I did realize that I, I did face this paradigm and know that I have to, in this 53 weeks, 52 weeks, I have to deal with this paradigm. So that is something great that came to me this week for my money. So that was money, personal development, love, and my health. Bing. I didn't eat good this week at all. And you guys know I have MS, like I said, and I really, diet is key. Diet is key. So I'm always trying new things, eating new things, and trying to get my diet right. But I had, we had some family tragedy a few years back, and I was doing it all holistically. You know, I was taking care of my MS holistically, mind, body, spirit. But holistic is your mind has to be right. And we had some family tragedy, and you know, I lost my dad and my brother, and it was just, I'm not going to cry. It was traumatic, and um, it just took me out of my headspace game for my holistic healing. And my holistic doctor was like, if you are not, if your mind is in the right place and you're not, you know, and you're grieving, then you might have to go on medication because your body needs some sort of support. So I did go on the very lightest um, MS medication. And, you know, I didn't have too bad a side effects. You know, I have some pain, it's injections, but I'm so not happy injecting myself with a drug, you know. But I'm trying to get my, my mind right and my food. And you know what it's done? It's made me lazy. Because I'm like, oh, I'm taking something. You know, I, I know in my mind I took this drug, so it's helping. So my diet has fallen off. So now I have to get back on that train of eating well and just doing all my holistic treatments that I want to do because I want to get off of this medication. But also for me, my holistic doctor, which is why I love him, Dr. Holder, said, if you are going to take the medicine, don't be negative about it. Don't be like, oh, I don't want to take it. Ugh, it's stupid medicine. If you're going to take it, believe it's going to work. So I am believing this medication is going to protect me until I can start protecting myself again with my food and my diet and nutrition. So this week, 
Did I eat poorly? So-so. Mm, Did I eat the best that I could eat? No. But I am trying to eat more fruits, vegetables, nuts, and things, which I'm pretty good with that. But two things for my health that I am doing this week. Stay right there. Sorry. This isn't even really like a discovery. Instead of sweets and candy, oh my God, these smokehouse almonds. Oh, delicious. But bigger than that, I got myself my um, iris sea moss. I love this stuff. Our bodies have 102 minerals in them that help our bodies run and things like that. Iris sea moss, which is actually from the sea. I don't know if you can see it. Iris sea moss has 92 of those minerals. So I make a sea moss gel and I put it in my smoothie. I take a spoonful at night and I use it as a face, um, face mask and it's amazing. So I finally got my package of sea moss. So I'm gonna make, so watch, I'll, probably my other video, I'll make some sea moss gel. So that was my week, guys. That was my love, my purpose, my money, and my health this week. Um, I don't know if I made great strides, but just getting here and doing this video again, I feel a sense of, um, I'm proud of myself. You know, I completed a video and I am going to really work hard to have a lot more better stuff to tell you next week. 